Okay, welcome to 3 and 15, Friday's edition. We are going to talk about three pretty interesting products that Young Living has, two of which I have used myself often. One, I've never used it, and my challenge with doing this type of a series is that every time I research something, I think, oh my gosh, I need that. Not necessarily. I advise you to muscle test. Um, if all of these things that I'm sharing seem like I need to have that because what you don't want to happen is to overload your body with herbs and supplements and then and also have the um, needing to take a lot of pills all at once that's just kind of silly so we keep this in 15 minutes so uh, but for those of you watching the replay give me some grace because I like to let it go for about a minute minute and a half to let people on the live streaming catch up if you're with me live just say hey so I can know who's watching live um, love to hear from you and if you're watching the replay whether on Facebook or YouTube or on the website then just let me know where you're from so without further ado and also by the way I will have all my notes here so if you comment or ask questions I might have to uh, answer them later because again this what I'm going to share today um, there's there's quite a lot so the first thing that we're going to talk about is endogize so this is one I've kind of looked at from afar as I mentioned I've never used it um, and I thought well you know really for me to do this series is really more all about me because I need to know what we have and I don't want to miss anything the other part of that is I'm just I just teach about everything I could teach you about this glass and how it was done if you gave me about five minutes um, but I feel like I need to share it with all of you because maybe this would help you so endogize it is one of young living's strongest supplements and here's the thing I've heard conflicting information in articles that I've read, research I've done, even in my desk reference. It says it's targeted to women, but when I look at the ingredients, I'm like, this feels like a guy supplement? I don't know. Um, again, if you look on the website, it'll say for women, men can use it. Both of men and women can use this supplement. Yet, I would venture to guess that when Gary first came out with it, again, I wasn't in his head, I haven't seen his notes, that he may have had men in mind. Now, that being said, we now have Power Gize for men. So when this was created, we didn't have Power Gize. This Power Gize was launched, hmm, I wanna say 2018, 2019, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we'll talk about that probably next week, maybe the week after. That, I'll, just a little caveat about that, Power Gize is more for uh, performance enhancing, so if you're an athlete or you run, um, something that you're gonna need a lot of endurance, so Power Gize would be your jam. Um, okay, so back to Endo Gize. So there's a number of ingredients in Power Gize, including naturally derived DHA from wild yams. Anytime you see that we have DHA and it's naturally de derived, you need to know that it's from wild yams. There's literally nothing synthetic in Young Living supplements. There's, um, please forgive me if I butcher these Latin names, but there's something called uh, Mira Palma root, uh, Epimedium leaf, Ericoma longifolia root extract, and ashwagandha. These ingredients I pulled from the list because I wanna to touch on these to give you an idea of what is so incredible about endogize. These are natural sub substances um, in nature, obviously natural, and they're considered to help the body adapt to stress and to help it process that stress. So those constituents that I just mentioned, they're adaptogen. So adaptogens are basically plants and mushrooms that will help your body respond positively, not positively to stress, but deal with the stress and anxiety and any kind of fatigue. And it also, the adaptogens will also increase your overall well-being for mental health and physical health. So the first one is Mira Palma. This is an adaptogen that, um, excuse me, it's actually not an adaptogen, my bad. It acts like it, it has characteristics of it, but it still isn't considered that. So it is an antioxidant and it has neuroprotective properties that will help with stressful situations. Um, it's also, so here comes the nitty gritty and a little bit of education that I'm like, this. I should have said this is kind of PG-13 rated, but it's that particular constituent. Now hear me well. I'm talking about the Mara Palma that's in Endogize, okay? So I'm not talking about Endogize specifically, but I'm telling you about the 
product that's in it or the herb that's in it. Um, I'm trying to be compliant. So it prevents sexual disorders and will help and increase in interest for sexual activity. So make a little note of that because you're going to start to see a theme and a pattern as we go along. Epimedium is another herb in endogize that's been used in traditional Chinese medicine and it has been used for years and years to treat fatigue, arthritic pain, nerve pain, here comes the PG-13, and erectile dysfunction. So here's me guys. I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I've gone to like uh, where my kids work at, at a restaurant, they have, you know, it's a bar, so they have the TV up, or if I've been at my mom's and they're watching TV, these commercials are so prolific um, about the ED, men having ED. So I'm like, okay, this is a pattern. Remember when, uh, okay, I, this may go longer than 15 minutes. Remember when we used to see a lot of cholesterol and heart medicines? Well, now we're seeing a lot of erectile dysfunction ED um, ads. We also see this um, billboards in the city that I live in, so I'm not sure if maybe you see it too. So this tells me that, oh, what we're finding now, because people have heart issues and clogged arteries, now they're having this little situation. So just FYI, clean up your diet and maybe uh, consider hitting up the Epimedium herb or some Endogize your call. Okay, the next one is the Ericoma longifolia. This is another herb that's used for that, for the ED, male infertility, increasing sexual desire in healthy people, and boosting uh, athletic performance. Okay, now, the, the nitty gritty, the one that I wanted to touch on the longest and the most is ashwagandha. This is an herb that's in Powergize. It's in um, Endogize and I think that's all we have that it's in. Ashwagandha is an incredible medicinal herb that assists with a lot of health conditions. It improves healthy blood sugar levels. It reduces inflammation. It improves your mood and your memory. It can reduce stress and anxiety, and it'll also boost muscle strength and then also fertility, just a little aside. So if you are someone who weight lifts or you are an athlete or you need some more physical endurance, again, consider Power Dyes, which has a massive amount of ashwagandha in it. I really encourage you guys to research ashwagandha um, further because again, I'm wanting to keep this at a, at a minimum, but when you start researching that particular herb, you're gonna see that it is quite potent and really incredible for our bodies. Okay, so the oil, the first oil that I wanna to touch on today is Endoflex. You're, obviously we have a theme here, our endocrine system. Um, Endoflex is an essential oil blend that's found in both the Vitality line, which means that you can take it internally, and topical. They're both the same formula, it's just set by law, by per FDA standards, you cannot sell um, something that's considered cosmetic and a dietary supplement. So we just you know have that. So this is recommended to, if you're working on your endocrine system and specifically targeting your thyroid, it's recommended to take with Thyromin, which is another supplement we'll talk at a later date. The oils that you have in here, now listen, you've got geranium, spearmint, sage, myrtle, and nutmeg, and German chamomile. So I want you to consider these diff these oils for a minute. You've got geranium, so good for the hormones, both men and women, spearmint, and myrtle. Right, these are so incredible for female hormones, and then spearmint and nutmeg, really powerful for our adrenal glands for energy. And then German chamomile, it calms you down. So, if you have you know like a tight thyroid and you're a little stressed out, having that over your thyroid, even over your adrenals, can really assist that. So, these oils by themselves support the endocrine system beautifully. But if you need a little bit more support in one of the areas of your endocrine system, now remember, your endocrine system is made up, I believe, like nine or 11 different body parts. Uh, your pineal gland, your thyroid, your adrenals, your ovaries, te uh, testes, you know, depending on what you are. And then um, there's a couple other that I'm, I'm not thinking of right now. So if you need, let's say, more adrenal help, maybe you'll add this of your adrenals, but then add a little extra nutmeg, just to give it a little bit of kick if you're needing a little bit more hormone support, um, consider adding geranium or myrtle over your abdomen with your endoflex. Layering your oils is a stunning way to do some targeted support. Okay, so on an emotion level, and as, as I talk about um, essential oils and our blends that we have, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the emotional portion of it. So endoflex helps the mind become more relaxed and balanced, and it increases a feeling of high self-worth and esteem. 
So low self-esteem, low self-worth is prevalent in a lot of women. And using this with intention, mind you, now intention to release that emotion of just being sick and tired or needing to control things and feeling stuck, Endoflex will help create that balance. Very similar to Valor, although more so, right? This is gonna help you see your work um, versus play too it, with fresh eyes, right? So your endocrine system will become more balanced and you may not want to work as much because you're escaping. Maybe you don't wanna play as much because you're escaping, right? We have more of a balance of work life. So whichever area you land in. Um, it'll also energize us to renew our energy to make necessary changes, whether it's in a relationship, projects we might be involved with, or even just something that needs to shift in a different direction and we just need to go with it. Okay, the last one we're gonna chat about is sclerescence. Now this is one, hmm, I don't really talk about it much. I use it, um, I use it a lot actually and have for years and years. It just doesn't come up on my radar, which is weird because it sits in my bathroom all the time. So this is a blend and I hope when you hear the words sclerescent, you think balance, balance, balance. There are only four oils in this one, peppermint, sage, right? There's our sage again, lavender and fennel and clary sage. Wait, I'm sorry, I said four, there's five. It's, oh, sage, lavender, no, there's four. Strike, strike that from the record. Clary sage being the top oil in this blend. As we know, and we shared last week that clary sage has been used to balance women's bodies by riding their hormones and their moods forever. So sclerescence is gonna help women. Now this is again, targeted for women, guys try mister that's one for your hormones so this is going to help on an emotion level ladies will help you understand that your first loyalty is to yourself i know that might be a little tricky for some of us to hear but it's true the word of god says love the lord your god with all your heart mind and soul and love your neighbor as yourself so first love god right then the second is loving your neighbor as yourself it's kind of assumed like sometimes in the word of god you have to read what's not there and read what's there with different eyes. So if you're gonna love your neighbor as yourself, hopefully that means that you love yourself. Sclerescence is gonna help you as women to um, be more in balance with how we love ourselves emotionally, physically, and even spiritually. It's gonna give you a better perspective for self-care and self-love which is so important when you are caring for others. If you're a mom or you, uh, or if that's one of your roles that you do, or you're a wife and that's a role, or a partner, or whatever you do, um, on a relationship level, you have to take care of you first, right? We all hear the oxygen mask, yada, yada, but this is gonna help you be more open to doing that. So I would recommend that using sclerescence for your hormones to balance it, but also, if you are someone who struggles with that, um, loving yourself, having uh, more of a higher self-esteem, um, thinking of yourself before thinking of maybe your children, then I would recommend you using sclerescence in that, with that bent. And trust me when I say, taking some time out for you to heal your emotions, to heal your body physically, to even heal spiritually, there's there's really no greater gift that you can give your family, your coworkers, your pets, um, your team, just any and even the world, anybody that you're with, because at the end of the day, you create an imprint and an impact in someone's life. And so when you are having, a, if you have low self-esteem and negative thoughts and you're maybe more critical on yourself, that's gonna bleed over and that frequency and that energy just spills out onto the rest of the world. So there's my TED talk, thanks for coming to it. So to recap, we've got Endogize, Endoflex, and Sclerescence. And I hope that if you um, are a woman, that you would really take advantage of one or all three of these. And if you're a guy, stay tuned for Powergize, but really give, give a look at Endogize. Um, and also if you have some of those issues I mentioned, take care of your heart because that, my friend, is probably what's actually going on. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next week. It'll be our last three and 15 for 2020. That'll be great.